What's up, YouTube? It's Zach, aka Zeo Fox, and I've got two brand new devices that I want to share with you guys. That means I gotta get rid of the old ones. Ain't no better way to do it. As I said before, I've got two brand new devices. Well, actually, they're not completely brand new. Oh my god, I've had them for about a week. Chill. It's the Galaxy Note Edge and the Galaxy Note 4. I went ahead and got myself the Galaxy Note Edge while my lovely wife got the Note 4. They are considered phablets, but that's beside the point. Come on, let's take a dive deeper into these and see what we got working with. Now that we've got a nice closer view of each phone, the Note 4 and the Note Edge, you can see that it's got that curved edge on the side. That is by far one of the best features for this phone. Well, not only because you can customize it, but you've also got yourself a nice little clock there as well. And it's nice to not have to go and turn the screen on every time you want to go and look at the clock. And essentially, they are the same phone. Both boast a 1440 display, uh, Super AMOLED. Both have a 2.7 gigahertz quad-core processor. Both are running Android 4.4 KitKat. Have A, B, G, and A, C wireless uh, connectivity. So it's got basically every version of Wi-Fi that you can imagine. Until a new one comes out, obviously. Both have Bluetooth 4.0, uh, an infrared LED allowing you to control your TV with your phone, which is freaking awesome, by the way. Now if you lose your remote control, you can control it from your phone. Both phones have a stylus which allows you to draw on the screen as well as you know take screenshots draw on them it's actually pretty good works very well uh it's got it's got a little a little feature here where if you if you press the little button that's on the stylus itself and you hover it over the screen it shows up with a menu that allows you to do action memo smart select image clip or screen write. Screen write was the, is the one where it'll take a picture of the screen, which it just did, process it, and then now you've got a pen, any type of pen, pencil, marker, paintbrush, you name it, just choose the color, and now I can draw on my screen. Pretty cool. I, I hope the color shows up. I'll choose a better one here. Let's go with bright green. That'll work. There you go. You can draw all over it all you want. And then you can either save it or just discard it. When you're done, just slip the pen back inside and you're off. Now the Note Edge has a pretty decent feature here. It has its own applications for the side menu. Let you swipe through it. Now the step counter is its own application that runs in the background on this sidebar so that way you don't have to go and check the app every time you want to see how many calories you've burned, how far you've walked, and how many steps you've taken in a day. Just keep swiping, add contacts to your quick menu, allowing you easier access to people that you would call on a regular basis. Uh, if you are running a background application like Pandora, you can use that here and it acts like the app. And then you've got your basic call, message, internet, mail, Twitter, and you can customize it to have whatever applications you have in here. And you're not stuck having the 
having the four that are just preset here at the bottom of the screen. And then it also has your weather information if you so choose, and it's got your most recent updates as far as your uh, different messages go. Like I've got five new emails, one new Twitter interaction, one Google Plus interaction, and one and three Facebook interactions. So I can easily just tap on one of those and it'll bring up each specific application. And that's pretty much it. And uh, if you can see it, right next to the headphone jack is your infrared LED allowing you to control your TV. Charging port on the bottom. Now both of these devices both allow you to do what's called fast charging. Now, obviously, it, as the name implies, it allows you to charge your device faster than if you were, say, to plug it into the side of your laptop and just let it charge, which is good if you are in need of a quick charge before you have to go run to the store. Say your battery's at, uh, I don't know, say 5%. You plug it in to the charger that comes in the box, mind you, you plug it into the device and in about five minutes you'll have probably close to 20-25%. It's unbelievably fast. Both of these devices are on the Sprint network and they run LTE or CDMA. The CDMA is your normal 3G daily driver, I guess you could say, at least for your old devices before LTE came out. Now, with Sprint Spark, it's Sprint's own version of LTE. So if your area has Sprint Spark, these phones will be nice and quick. And I tell you what, even on a CDMA 3G network, it still is pretty quick. Swiping through the menus is very fast and snappy. I mean, pressing the home button and then going and hitting the application applications to see what applications I have. I mean it's very snappy, no lag whatsoever. Uh, let's do... let's open, let's say, S-Note. S-Note is a is an application where you can go and take your notes and we're going to add a new note, edit, then you pull out your pen and allow and just basically draw on it like normal. Now on my wife's phone, the Note 4, she's been using Sketchbook X for for drawing. She is quite the artist, I must say. You have the ability to add or subtract layers. And we have a way to view some of the things that she's done. This is by far one of the most favoritest things that I have seen her draw on her phone yet. She said this was just a quick sketch, so take that for what it is, a quick sketch. And if that's a quick sketch, imagine if, you, if she just sat down and just drew to her heart's content. I'm quite sure she'll come up with something pretty amazing. But both phones are very snappy. The applications, even running a live wallpaper in the back, is very snappy. No lag whatsoever. You can go in and do just about anything at any time and not have to worry. Both also have fingerprint scanners. All you'd have to do is swipe down if you have the fingerprint scanner uh, enabled and you just swipe your finger down and it allows you to go ahead and access the device as you normally would. Well, there you have it. That's basically these two phones in a nutshell. Obviously I can go more in depth, but I'm going to leave that for you to decide. If you would like me to show you the great properties of the Note 4, and the Note Edge, both in their respective videos, then let me know in the comments what you think I should do. Leave a thumbs up if you like it, leave a thumbs down if you didn't. Tell me what you guys think of the Note 4 or the Note Edge if you own one. Or if you own a Note 3, would you consider upgrading to the Note 4 or the Note Edge? Or would you? are you just simply satisfied with the device that you've got? Whether it be iOS 
or Android. It doesn't matter to me as long as it works for you. That's what matters most. But until next time, guys, I will see all of you on the other side of the interwebs. Take it easy.